Hi, I'm Greg Watson from Watson Real Estate. I'm just here to show you some of the information that's come out of the latest Real Estate Institute of New Zealand Capital Gains and Rental Yield Report. So which areas of New Zealand have that great trade-off between yields and um, capital gains? So they've decided that the West Coast has taken out the top spot as the highest performing region for residential investors. So uh, that's uh, the yields in the West Coast region were 5.4%. And it's the only region in the country with an excess of 5%. Manutu Wanganui is still going well. Uh, we were on top of the list the quarter before, but this time we're the third highest capital gains in the country, up 29.4%, uh, and the sixth highest yield in the country at 3.8%. So there's a lot of text here. Let's just go to something that's a little bit easier to read, and this is the overall rankings. So you can see uh, just above my head there are the yields, um, the highest yielding areas for the first quarter of 2021, and, um, and that's really comparing to the same quarter the year before. On the right-hand side, um, they then rank capital gains, where Manutu Wanganui is third, and the yield are six, and give them a ranking. So West Coast has come out on top. Um, and uh, Gisborne and Manawatu Wanganui equal second. So still a good place for investors to buy. We're still seeing here at Watson Real Estate plenty of investor demand. Uh, they do break it down slightly. And uh, actually, just while we're passing by the, the map of, of the country here, these are some of the capital gains by regions. This is quite interesting. Uh, again, look at the size of those figures. They're pretty astounding. And it'll just be interesting to see if the stats for the next quarter are slightly less. Uh, but certainly Gisborne there, um, in terms of capital gain, 39.5%. That's pretty outstanding. Uh, if you were interested in the uh, yields for your area, feel free to pause this video. Uh, you've got, uh, going back in terms of the, the comparisons from this year to the year before. Uh, and again, this map shows the highest yields, so West Coast there and Southland. If you want a copy of this report, just let me know, I'll send one to you. But we're now just going to break it down to Manawatu Wanganui. Uh, again, you can see the capital gains. Wanganui District 42.3, pretty amazing. Ruapehu can be a little higher. Um, it's either playing catch up or is a lower sample size, I'm not quite sure. But even Palmas North City, capital gains uh, 23 Point, uh, sorry, 27.3%, which is outstanding. This is shown on the map of our region here. So depending on where you live or where you want to invest, um, these are the, the rates of capital growth um, compared to a year earlier. And here's the yields. Again, you might want to pause this depending on uh, where you're interested in investing. But you can see on the right-hand side there, the yields are generally dropping, which is um, always the case when house prices are rising. And this map shows the yields, best year yields at the moment in the Rangatihe district. That is, in other words, a good trade-off between the purchase price and what they might rent for. So I hope that's of interest to you. That's the uh, latest report, uh, Capital Gains and Rental Yield Report by the Real Estate Institute of New Zealand. Again, if you want a copy, uh, just leave me a message. I'll send one to you.